Something like that, bud. Where does it go? Up there? Yeah. Ooh, jeez. That looks fairly steep, though. It is, I think. <laughs> we'll, we'll crack on. <laughs> I was trying to multitask and I nearly floored myself. I wonder if I can ride to it. Power! <laughs> oh, straight on. I have to say, I'm only five kilometers into this ride and already loving it. And we've got a 50k loop, which is mainly all gravel. And uh, we're like running alongside the main road, which takes up to the top of uh, the Bull. Pretty famous climb in South Wales. Um, three musketeers out today. Myself, Kirby and Ant. Yeah, now this is a bit I recognise. That's the road to the top of the Bull, just there. Sort of bends around, goes through the final village before you get over that cattle grid. The locals know what I'm talking about. One of the best climbs in South Wales, but yeah, we're on a cycle path. It's dead nice. <laughs> Look at me, strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> Trying our first real climb of the day, and we're at eight percent, eight percent gradient up this little track. And uh, I let Philly win a little bit on what we're actually doing. So me, Ant, and his mate Kirby are out just for a bit of a leisurely gravel ride. Really, it's my first time riding around here. Same for Ant too, but I've had no end of recommendations from locals saying that I need to come and ride up here. So we're near Port Talbot, and we're obviously in the valleys, and there's some epic sort of terrain, gravel, mountain bike areas around here, which I'm obviously discovering. And Kirby's on a gravel specific bike. I'm obviously on a Factor LS, which is really coming into its own obviously here. And Ants is on like a 2015 Ridley cyclocross bike, I think, which, he bought it brand new way back when and he used to use it as a winter bike and now he uses it well now he uses it as a gravel bike but this is the first like gravel ride properly and um, we've got a lot of climbing to do um, but then eventually we'll have a lot of descending to do so although Anthony's setup is not quite like what you call gravel no doubt he will upgrade some things as he gets more and more into this. <laughs> but it goes to show that there's not really much barrier to entry for this sort of thing. And it's probably why it's picking up a lot of, you know, a lot of new people into this side of the sport. Like Anthony today's riding, I think 28 mil tires. There's not much tread to them. I mean, they're not far off like a, like a really heavy duty winter road tire. So there's not really much stopping him today. As you can see, the terrain or the gravel is hit and miss. Some of it is quite thick and some of it is quite sort of, well, gravelly, I suppose. Oh my word. What a view. <laughs> also, what's your smallest gear again? Uh, 3628. I'm showing off here with my straight through 34, 34, whatever it is. The pressure's on. I feel like you could put an owl in the zero. The air's getting thin. 600 meters above sea level.
All right, we feel like we're on top of the world here. I'm not gonna lie. We're like almost 600 meters above sea level and uh, we're in amongst the wind farm. This is a pretty nice bit of gravel now because it's like dead wide and like quite fast to go pack. So Ants is like loving it. I'm loving it. It's really difficult to not like what we're currently doing right now. I can see how I can see how people fall in love with this. <laughs> Thing is we've been climbing for a long time, so this is a nice reward, isn't it? Yeah, this is good to me, huh? Oh my word, it's like different climate altogether. <laughs> 600 meters. Where are we going? Straight on. Oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. Awesome. That's it for the major climbs. Oh my word. Look at this. Scraping the road. A couple of mountain bike trails. A little river. Stream. What a steep bit there. Wow, I think I've found the world's most guarded farm gate. How many locks do you need to keep people out? Oh. Look at that. Oh. Mega! Yeah, let's go down! Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. The speed bumps are doom. <sighs> Ants has won the race to the car park. He's dropped me well and truly. Oh, but I really enjoyed that loop. As always, it'll be on my Strava. If you fancy checking it out, I'll link it down below in the description. 45 kilometers. Two hours, 43 minutes. So 16 k an hour average speed. But uh, just non stop excitement and adventure and all the other things you'd expect so what a great bike ride ah right i'll see you in the next video